Okay, I'm in Licks looking for the bricks. <laughs> okay, I got the bricks. Oh, it's cooling. I got the bricks, guys. They got holes in them. I only got four because I don't want to break my back. <sighs> this is heavy work, man. Nobody told me bricks were this heavy. <sighs> I should have known. I should have known. My shoulder is about to bust. This freaking bag here. But yeah, I'm on my way. Oh, there's my bus. God damn it. Damn it. That's why I need a car. I could have carried so many things if I had a car. Mm. You don't understand how happy... Oh, I can zoom out. You don't understand how happy I am to finally be at the allotment. Oh my god, the pond has... Yeah, I can't believe I'm here now because I probably can put these bricks off my shoulder. The pond has dried up again. It has been dry. But I honestly thought it was going to freeze or something. I'm getting annoyed that it keeps emptying. And I don't know if it's a me issue, like it's got a hole, <laughs> or if it's a because it's been dry issue. I don't know what I'm going to do on dry days. Do you know what though? My neighbour, their pond does not seem to drain out. Like look, they've got a pond, I don't know if you can see it, they've got a pond over there. And it's always wet. Why is mine always drying up? Anybody here to tell me off? Nope. Let me just have a little closer look. Confused how theirs is like still soaking wet. I guess it's deep. I think it's deeper than my one. Mine one's quite shallow, so maybe it just doesn't hold as much water. I'm only gonna be here for a little bit because I was supposed to leave at one o'clock and it's like 2.30 and I've just got here. <laughs> so we did the pass last time, which I love. They're still functioning. I know it's a bit lumpy bumpy, but eventually I will tidy it up I have broad beans, um, I grew them at home, they smell very very nice, honestly broad beans smell so gorgeous, Ooh, it smells so fresh. I grew them to be ground cover, for to so basically root into the ground, break it up, make some air go in, some space, and then also to um, add nitrogen, because apparently these add nitrogen, they're a bit dead because on the way they, can, they kind of struggled in the bag um but like they were struggling on my window so you can see like there's black stuff on it and all sorts so i thought let me just bring it out dump it into the ground see what happens if it grows it grows if it doesn't it doesn't this little bit of greenery can feed the land that i have i'm literally just going to put in this patch here because i've been warming up this patch oh god it's so so dirty I really need to clean out this mud somehow, some way, somehow. Okay, pond is filled. It looks dirty, it looks disgusting, but I don't care anymore. As long as there's water in there, I will figure it out later when things look more nicer around here. Okay, guys, we've dug a little ditch. I don't think it's big enough, but we will get it. We'll get it the right size. Okay, actually, it's a it's actually the right size it's just not the right depth because this is perfect to where it's sitting so i'm going to just push some soil under there some little sandwich just got to make a little sandwich little mud pie how would you like your mud pie with more leaves okay more leaves more leaves i give you more leaves want some leaves on the toppings sorry i don't know what's wrong with me okay i think that's how we want it and then basically what I'm going to do is put compost in there and then put flower seeds in there and let them grow on the sides so then they have like a separate oh, did I just is that a ladybug did I just dig up a ladybird I'm sorry was you resting or was you dying oh my god look at it can you see the ladybird oh I can zoom in with my gloves are you resting for the... Oh, it's got a white head. I've never seen that before. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Zoom out. Zoom out, goddammit. Okay, ladybird, you're going to have to move because I'm going to be doing stuff over here. I will put you in the nice part of the compost where it's not going to be touched for a while. Although I am about to put my broad beans in there. 
We've made a spot. Ow, 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 something's stabbing me. Okay. We've got a little spider web freebie in there. Okay, it's slanted, goddammit. Let me sort this out and then I'll come back and talk to you guys and show you what I've done. And there you have bricks, my friends. You have bricks. Okay. Okay. Let's get ready. Get out of there. <gasps> the roots really grew through. I didn't know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They grew so much. Look at that. I'm going to leave them in their little, you know, casing. Why not? Give them a little bit of warmth. See, look, the leaves haven't even broken down properly. Do you know what? It's whatever. Hopefully this will help feed as well. So, you're probably wondering, if you are new to gardening, let me teach you something. Why I have cardboard, compost, and leaves in here? Well, the cardboard layer is to help stop weeds from breaking through when it starts getting warmer out here and it's weed time so like little weeds oh no that's not even a weed so like this has been like this for a while weeds could have easily grew through this like over there where the soil is ex exposed um but because i put the cardboard down it helps give it time to for other things to establish yeah so um yeah i'm just chucking them i really don't care at the moment <laughs> So yeah, the, the cardboard layer is to stop the weeds and then the leaves will break down and they will also make nutrients for the, the, the ground. And then you have obviously the compost layer which is um, got the food in it. So this one, it's got some roots but it's kind of dead. I'm going to still bury it in but you know like this one as well, it's got roots but it's like barely even broke through the surface. But the others were thriving and doing their thing. But basically, the way I germinated them... Oh! This one lost its little dress. The way I germinated them was I put them in just one of these boxes, put a layer of tissue, put the seeds spread out, put another layer of tissue, spray, spray, sprayed with water every day, every couple of days, depending on how dry it was. And then when they grew enough, like they were like little... a little bit like this one, little bigger than this when they grew a bit I then put them put these toilet rolls in the plastic box cut the toilet rolls in half as you can see to save on toilet rolls because they don't need a really long toilet roll then I put some compost in there I'll leave that for mulchy stuff see like this one's struggling a bit as you can see I really don't care about these these being grown as food so because it's too cold in the it's too early in the year for them as far as I know as far as I researched so I'm literally just gonna dash them in maybe put them in a little bit in the ground so they can do their thing you never know if one grows really crazy and is like whoa I want to be alive mother then <laughs> maybe I'll rethink Okay, it's in the ground guys, it's in the ground. Okay, it looks pathetic. <laughs> it looks so pathetic. Wait, let me see the bricks. Do they look straight? Kind of. Next time, next video, I'm probably gonna make my herb tower, which is gonna go here. So it's gonna be stacked up here. One there, one there. I don't know if I'm gonna do one or two, but I at least have enough for one, two, three. They're quite big boxes, so I feel like I could get a lot in each tower and I don't have to have it too tall so it's gonna have strawberries in there herbs it's gonna have like herbs like sage thyme what else are we gonna make stevia stevia is one of the things I really want to try and start cooking with to sweeten things instead of sugars so we just look out for that one look out for that one let me finish this up because it's getting late Have it raining days and then watch it rain later today. Okay. Okay, we've covered that back up. I 
am pretty much done here today. It's only a small sash as per usual. It's too cold and I came too late. <laughs> Most of the, the, the day went on travelling, which is annoying. And I'm hungry now, so I gotta go eat. That's it for today. If you didn't check out my seed video, if it's out already, check it out. I have planted some seedlings. Um, I think that's everything. I think that's everything. So thank you guys for watching. Hope your allotments are going well at this time of year. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!